Hello everyone, I'm going to keep this guide short and sweet. Inspiration for it came the other day while I was slain, and someone had asked, how do you change the, or how do you toggle drop notification for rare or valuable items? And no one around was able to help this guy, or maybe they were just unwilling. So anyways, I helped him, and uh, then I checked out YouTube and found that there, there, there was no guide for this at all. So fulfilling that need, Without further ado, this is the Iron Life Guide on how to toggle drop notifications. First off, we'll go to the Settings tab right by the Logout button, and that will take us to this screen. After that, if you're, if you're on an, a different tab, you're going to need to go to the green-looking guy with the chat box there, and that'll bring you to this screen, and then you just click the light bulb to configure certain game notifications. That'll take you to the final screen. Now, I already have mine set to 30,000 coins, so for me, I would have to right-click, change, and then I could change it to, say, 50k. It'll filter out everything between, pretty much, room chain bodies and dragon items, like dragon med items and stuff like that. Um, I, have, I have mine set to 30,000 because that, that lets me uh, get a notification when I get dragon chains and everything above that. Um, if you've never set your drop notification before, you won't need to right click. You can just simply click, type in the value, and go from there. You can also decide if you want untradeable loot notifications on or off. I keep them on just so if I get a clue scroll, I'll get a notification. And then you can uh, choose to filter or not your boss kill count. And that's pretty much it. If you uh, benefited from this guide at all, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment if you appreciated it or if there is a different guide you would like to see. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.